Thank you so much for coming out today, by the way. Um, we've got some great food outside, uh, some pizzas coming out of the little burning oven, and uh, some snacks. And we want to um, really celebrate the space. So it's kitchen of the year. So it's kind of a big deal, right? So you can, you can design a kitchen. Uh, Lori Yeomans, my uh, designing partner, the beautiful lady walking in the red dress, my work wife, as I call it. Um, we designed four restaurants in Northern California in the last year. Uh, we designed Wayfair Tavern. It's in the former Rubicon space in the uh, financial district. Uh, we designed a restaurant up in Napa uh, called Rotisserie and Wine. It's sort of a fast, casual place. And then we designed uh, a steakhouse in downtown Mill Valley. And everything that we do has a sense of heritage to it because I think America is old enough as a country to kind of be taken seriously as a food scene. Right? We have a cuisine. We have a flavor. And it's interesting. So everything that we do has a sort of approach to it that it's, it's, um, it's authentic, it's real, it's about the food, it's about the flavor, it's about gathering, it's about kind of what we're doing right now, um, except for it'll be a little less video, but it'll be less like cooking and having a drink. But I just want to kind of celebrate the idea that uh, House Beautiful Magazine is hands down the most gorgeous, lush design magazine in the world. Would you guys agree? Yeah. And, and I'm so excited to be working with them. Uh, it's an institution, uh, it's a magazine that Frank Lloyd Wright uh, started, and we're excited to kind of carry on the tradition of, of forward thinking design. Um, I wouldn't do this alone. There's amazing suppliers and uh, great um, companies like KitchenAid and, um, and uh, uh, um, Cedar Stone, which is fantastic. We'd love for you guys to kind of poke around and take a look at this stuff. We got a chance to really kind of edit and just do some great work with a lot of the materials that they, that they got a chance to bring to us. And it's about form and function. It's about taking a risk. Black happens, who knew? But it's about doing something that feels serious. And um, taking a kitchen space and making it delicious. A kitchen is the new American living room. Wouldn't you agree? Mm -hmm. So instead of creating a separate living space, we decided to take the kitchen and make it a living space. That you can hang out in it and celebrate it and cook and tell stories and entertain. So I'm just glad you guys are here. Hang out. Uh, we're going to be here all week. Um, and we'd love to just chat with you about whatever you guys want to talk about. Uh, it's the Kitchen of the Year. Thank you so much for coming out today. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, so I'm a contributing editor with House Beautiful Magazine. And when they asked me to be involved in the Kitchen of the Year, uh, I was blown away, honored, and challenged all at the same time to really kind of take this space. And, you know, Jeff Lewis did a really great job last year. Uh, very Southern California, very, you know, L.A. contemporary. Uh, the year before that, it was on a garden. She did a kitchen that felt uh, very uh, East Hampton in a sense. It was very much her. So we wanted to create a space that was very different, really bold, uh, something that, that um, no other designer had really done before. So we, we chose a couple of different time points to really start pulling information from. And that was um, an Edwardian service kitchen was our first idea. So this oversized prep counter in the middle of the space that you could feed an army off of. And that's what I love. I like a kitchen that goes from, you know, breakfast for you and your daughter or a grocery sandwich to a possible black tie event for a few hundred with ease. So we really like that a lot. We also like the uh, sort of the, the, the California design sensibility of the 1950s and mid-century. So there's bits and pieces, there's color options, like the leather on our chairs. There's something somewhere between like avocado and watercress, which I think is a really great green. And then also it's very 2011. Our La Marzocco coffee machine over there from Florence uh, is, is state-of-the-art, and it makes a really sexy cup of, cup of coffee. So it's sort of this kind of blend um, that feels very collective. Right? It's definitely from a chef's point of view. So we're, we're going to be cooking all week. Uh, every day it's going to be different. And uh, we're going to be serving uh, our Cabernet Sauvignon and our Sauvignon Blanc uh, that Michael Mondavi and I have been making for a couple years now. We just got a uh, we just got a 90 on our Sauvignon Blanc. We had a 92 score on our cab. So we're really excited about that. And uh, we're going to cook some pizzas out of the wood-burning oven and, and just having a great time.